In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul of the Celtic Orthodox Church. And this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 9, verses 57 through to 62. Now it happens, as they journeyed on the road, that someone said to him, Lord, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Then he said to another, Follow me. But he said, Lord, let me first go and bury my father. Jesus said to him, Let the dead bury their own dead, but you go and preach the kingdom of God. And another also said, Lord, I will follow you, but let me first go and bid them farewell who are at my house. But Jesus said to him, no one having put his hand to the plough and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your word. Help us to be true disciples of yours. In this short reading today from St. Luke's Gospel, for some it may be familiar, but for others maybe it's the first time, or maybe it's the first time you've thought of it a little bit more. In this reading it has a little subheading to the reading. It said, says, undivided commitment. Yes. When you make a commitment, how easy is it, especially these days, not to fulfill it? For me, it's very difficult. Once I say something and commit myself, that's it. Unless something really bad happens, which makes it un impossible, I carry it out. Following Jesus Christ, once you commit yourself to being a disciple of Jesus Christ, it is a commitment. For how long, you may think? A week, two weeks, a month? Every Sunday only? No, for the rest of your life. Until that time, when you front the judgment seat. You are committed to being a Christian. Yes, a Christian, a disciple of Jesus Christ. Not half measured. No. Once you become a Christian, you are 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You are committed to God. And in turn, God is committed to you. Yes, it goes to both ways. You both have a commitment, you and God. He promised to take care of us, and he will. You promised to follow him. Do you? Or at times, you might find it difficult. It is, and that's the reason why Jesus says, take up your cross daily and follow me. The cross is not easy. There's much difficulty. But then we should have total commitment, total love of God. In making this commitment, making this commitment is not something 
that oh well I'll do it this week or every day that starts with a, a T or a whatever. No. You must be prepared to be totally committed to following Jesus Christ. Totally. In these examples we read today about going off and burying your dead or going back and saying goodbye. No, they're excuses. And so many of us make excuses. Why? We can't make a total commitment. I want you to think about that. How strong is your commitment? Yes. Life is full of commitments. Whether it is to a job, whether it is to a relationship, or even more, to a marriage. Yes. Sadly, this doesn't always happen. And of course, there are many reasons why these sort of things fail. But our commitment to God must be total. If you can't do it, don't. If you can't totally commit yourself to being a Christian, don't. Be somebody else. Remember that. Pray to the Holy Spirit every day because it's going to be difficult every day. You're going to have your good days and you're going to have your bad. Pray to him every day to help you to be a true Christian all day, 24 hours, 7 days a week. And every day when you pray, give God the glory. Thank him for that commitment that he has to you as you have to him. Glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most holy Theotokos, save us. Amen.